welcome back to our healthy eating quest um, it's time to check in again I actually wanted to do this with you a week ago because I think now it's been two weeks since we checked in and did a weigh-in and um, I mean the reason why that's important is because if we never check in we ne uh, we could end up drifting wildly off course and not even know it so that's why it's you know important just to just to see where we are. So let's do that now. Ah, falling over. <sighs> oh, you can't see my head anymore. Well, you just have to take my word for it. It is still there. Okay, two o eight point four. Let's see if you can see that before it goes off. I don't know. Anyway, I'll try to put you back where you were. Um, so that's down a little bit. I have to check. The first number was 209 point something, I know. Um, but that's not a big deal. If your number is down, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Um, maybe your number's not down, but you feel, you feel a little better. <laughs> um, that's good keep going um, if your number is not down or even if it's up some or maybe you um, you feel like you haven't noticed a change yet in the way that you feel uh, really I have the same advice for you keep going <laughs> do not stop don't give up um, because that's the only way you will get to that desired result um, you know times like like that if we're not seeing the result that we want to see right now we might find ourselves feeling discouraged like oh you know it's not gonna work it's not working what's the point I'm just I'm gonna stop trying this but please <laughs> listen to me carefully do not give up just keep taking those steps no matter how small no matter how slowly eventually I promise you, you have to get to the finish line if you keep moving. I mean, that's that's what's going to happen. Um, but I wanted to share with you something. I wrote it down. There's a book that I'm reading. It's called um, Eating for Energy. And there was some really good advice, I thought, that the author gave in the book. So I wanted to share it with you. It's um, It's actually in line with a Bible verse that says you'll reap what you sow. I don't know if you're a Bible reader, if you believe in that or not, but um, I thought this was a really good um, point because the author of this book, Eating for Energy, um, mentioned that, hold on, I wrote it down, let me see. I'm trying to read my own writing here. Oh, it says that your mind is without a doubt the most fertile soil in the world. So if you plant seeds of despair, anger, frustration and stress you'll grow or reap um, physical realities that reflect those things okay um, but if you plant seeds of love happiness optimism and radiant health in your mind you'll grow or reap those things in your life so if you're not feeling as well as you want to be feeling yet First of all, remember, we're just in the beginning. It's only been a couple weeks, right? Um, but don't start to let those seeds of despair and frustration grow in your mind, you know? Instead, plant the seeds of optimism. Believe that you can do this, that you will make it to that finish line, okay? And when you grow that in your mind, that's what's gonna happen, okay? Um, so, no matter what the scale says, you're doing great. If you're still here on this journey, celebrate that. Um, even if you are only inches from where you started, celebrate every single inch. Um, for those of you that wanna check out this book, Eating for Energy, I will put a link to it in the description below. Um, and full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, 
So the author, uh, if you choose to buy the book, the author will share a little bit of the, um, the purchase price with me. It's no additional cost to you. It won't cost you any more than if you bought it anywhere else. But um, anyway, yeah, I think that's all for now. So keep up the good work and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.